Hey everybody, awesome at G here, and today we're going to have a new uh, server update video. I forgot what these things were called. So again, we're starting here at the spawn point, and right next to the spawn point, we have recently built a bulletin board, which is nice. Uh, most of the things on the bulletin board right now are completely ridiculous. <laughs> um, we just kind of like lost track of stuff. So if y'all want to read that stuff, pause it and read it real quick. Um, other than that, we put an ender chest. Well, I put an ender chest here because we had somebody leave. Uh, I'll go into that in a minute. Um, and of course, some seeds in a bed for any new players that happen to come in. Um, so let's get started. The... Let's start over at my house, because I think I have the least amount of changes, honestly. Uh, so my house is going to go by really quick. Um, obviously, nothing has really changed up front. Inside the house, the only thing I have really changed is... Uh, Uh, that, uh, well, I've got new chests right here. I rearranged those. I started running out of space with the single chest I had in the middle, so I had to multiply that up. Uh, other than that, I don't think anything else has really changed inside. Uh, I don't know if I had these pressure plates last time or the enchanting table last time, but I do now. Same thing with the ender chest. Not exactly sure if that was here a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago like last week. Um, outside my house, uh, all I really did was put glass over the top of my quarry, which I have hit bedrock. Um, there is also a nether portal here, but there's another portal over at Pufflewiv's place, and he built his first, so mine actually goes to his location and vice versa. Um, actually, not vice versa. His does not go to my location, but... If I go in his and out his, I come out in his house. And if I go in mine, I go to his place in the nether and go out, and it takes me into his house. So that's a little awkward. Uh, I don't think this was here last time. I think I did this like 30 minutes after recording the last video because I finished mining all the way to bedrock. And I made a uh, mushroom farm. Uh, I don't have any mushrooms with me. Bummer. Basically what I do is I plant a mushroom right there hit it with uh, uh, bone meal, and it grows into a large mushroom, then I chop it all down and get, uh, I would say on average, from a single mushroom, I get six or seven small mushrooms, maybe a few more, upwards of ten sometimes, but I thought I would get a lot more mushrooms out of that than I actually do, but, you know, hey, it's real easy. I always get more than one, so that's, that's good. Uh, I do not know, oops, I think I'm, I think I'm stuck. I do not know whose house this is, and I have a problem with it because I don't want anybody living this close to my house, unfortunately. At least not without permission. Um, see, like, um, who built that? Cuckles. Cuckles specifically asked if he could build there, and I said sure. Nick specifically asked if he could build here, and I said sure. And I said just stay away, you know, that build there, but make that the closest point you come to me, and, and same thing with Cockles. And I don't know who this is, but they built here, and they connected right to my place, and I'm not too hot on that. Um, sorry, it's nothing personal, I just don't want people, like, all up on my junk. So, I think the place looks pretty good. I like the design and everything. I just don't like them being this close. So I put a sign here, I'm like, you built too close to me, please relocate. Uh, and if you are the person who actually built this, uh, let me know, and I'll even help you move your house or help you find a new place, but this is too close to me. I'm sorry. It's, it's just too close. Uh, I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I need my space. Um, obviously you can see that there's been a couple of upgrades here at Cuckle's house, primarily the completion of his watchtower. Uh, initially, oops, that's down. I had no idea what this extension of glass was, except for the fact that he also has a pool down there. So I'm assuming that's his rapid descent. You just walk out here and 
take a leap of faith, I guess, Assassin's Creed style. Uh, I also extended the sky bridge down to his place. He's a little OCD like I am with uh, with how things are built, so it took us... Uh, honestly, it probably took us longer to figure out how to connect it and where to make it turn than it did for me to actually build it. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. And then over here, we have Aztec again, and he's made a few upgrades. Let's see what we've got. Ah, he's got a path leading from his tower to the edge of the mountain. Oh, and a set of stairs. That's convenient. So I guess that ladder is going to get torn down eventually. Uh, then over here we've got Spaz Tech. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Uh, he has a tendency of dying a, a lot, so... Actually, a lot of people have a tendency of dying a lot. He's not the worst, though. The only thing is that Z is backwards. Somebody doesn't know how to write letters. What's this? Is this new? Is this just a cave system, maybe? I think it is. It's a little too winding to have been naturally cut, or, or intentionally cut. Yeah, that's all it is, just a cave. Kind of random. I wouldn't have expected him to put doors on it, but, you know, hey. Maybe he plans on turning this into something personal. So... Let's move on, shall we? Alright. Uh, let's go check out Spinnaker's place, since we're right here. Do -do -do. I haven't been out to his place since last weekend either, so I don't know if he's made any changes or not. Oh. Hello. I don't think that was there. Let's take a look. Oh, well, there's a bed. Alright. I like that rain opening. Oh, hi. Treasure room. Um, it's not really an easy way down from here. Yeah, I guess there's a ladder. Nice. You can actually, I don't know if you know this, Ben, you can actually stack chests in this spot, too, if you want. Uh, you may not actually want to. But I'll point that out, just in case you don't know. And let's head down here. Yay for no fall damage with flying on. What is... I don't know what that's for. Uh, I have a feeling he's probably... <clears throat> excuse me. He's probably going to build a wheat farm here with all the water, I would guess. Uncomplete farm of wasted time. <laughs> nice. What's this? I've been lazy this week. Oh well. You have done some stuff, so... Still like that Shaun of the Dead sign. I'm almost faster than the rain. That's awesome. I don't think anything has really gone on down here. Ah, his iron door protecting his nether portal. What is this place? Lava dripping. Don't dig up into that. This might just be his strip mining operation or something, but it's only one tunnel, so... Let's 
kind of random. Oh well. Let's get to moving here. Too. Okay, so let's turn off some of those waypoints. I know people in the last video were like, ugh, too many waypoints. Uh, Aztec, Spinnaker. Alright, so let's go check out Puffelwiz. See what he's got. Oh, he's got a tree farm going on. That's nice. I mean, considering all the wood he's going to use, yeah, you're going to need that. Oh, I don't want this rotted flesh. Ooh, that's thick. What do we got going on over here? I have also not been to Puffalo's house in... Oh, I don't know. Four or five days? I think I was there Monday. Unsuspicious cabin. Completely unsuspicious, considering your door is wide open. Let's see what he's done. Oops. Down here. This farm. We've all seen that. Uninterested. This is portal. This potion room. Again, nothing has changed here. Ah, my cell phone. Shut up. Stop making dingling sounds. Dingling sounds? Good descriptors. Okay, storage room. This should still be. Dang. How far down is that? Holy... Yeah, he's... Yeah. He's widened that a little bit. I know there's a way to disable it, but I don't know where it is. Okay. There's a block left. It's a glitch. There we go. And this room is a work in progress of his. He's planning on making this a throne room. Ha! <laughs> nice. Um, so I don't know how far exactly he's planning on digging it. I'm assuming that this is probably the end and he's going to build the throne here. Uh, he said he wanted to do something ridiculous just to flaunt his wealth, like build it out of diamond blocks, but honestly, I don't think he has that many diamonds yet. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I'm assuming that's his guard dog. But anyway, you know, it's like, well, whatever you want to do, man. If you found the diamonds, they're yours to do with as you please. So... That is uh, Puffle's house again. Puff, sorry if I missed something. You should have made it more readily available. Haha, -ha, owned. Okay. So, let's head off to Cryptic Chris's. This is one of the new guys that got on the server last time. Uh, where's the other guy's place? Oh, Draco. That's it. Uh. <laughs> Funny story, Cryptic, Cryptic Chris was afraid that we would not like his buildings. Sorry, I've been getting some really bad lag from my internet provider recently, so. So he thought we wouldn't like this, and I'll be honest, I was pleasantly surprised, because like the whole time he was building, he's like, oh my god, this thing looks hideous. Oh, I don't like it. And then he was like, hey, come check it out and tell me what you think. And I was like, holy crap, dude! You've been on this... And he... At the time when he finished this, I swear to God, he had been on the server like maybe three hours. And he had this whole thing done. And I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. 
So, uh, since I've been here last, he's added the farm and the staircase, because this wasn't here last time. But, let's go inside and take a look around. Let's see. Uh, is there down now? I don't remember a down before. I thought that was a sign. Interesting. Ground level. Easy way out, I guess. Alright. What's going on over here? Hold on, I'm getting hungry. Ah, that's better. Diving board. I don't know if that's deep enough, man. <laughs> Doesn't look very safe. I mean, I'm sure it is, but... Okay. So, up on his second floor, we've got... Oh, this isn't it. This is it. Ha ha! His storage area. Uh, I think that's all that's up here. So we'll go back up. Here we've got little outcroppings where you can come out and watch the sunset. I'll show you that here in just a second. And here is his second building with uh, all of his furnaces. I would open one and just look inside out of habit, but uh, he could have something in there he doesn't want people to see. So let's head up here. Like what, somebody would say. And I would say, I don't know. So his bed. It's a little dark up there for my liking, but nothing can spawn at the top, so. See, that's the kind of stuff I don't want to get in the habit of doing. Look, all his diamonds and emeralds, ha 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 ha. Backle. That sounds like a nasty disease. Okay. Um, so over here, he's got a little bridge connecting him to mainland. And then he's got his own little quarry going on. This is his little storage spot, I guess. And his quarry's kind of neat. He uses double steps. I had actually... I don't know why this had never crossed my mind, but I had never actually thought of doing this. Oh, and look at that. He's hit bedrock. I didn't think he was that deep, either. Alright. Go, Chris. Okay. So, as far as I know, that's basically all he's done so far. And it looks like he's getting ready to enclose it at the top with glass. He probably just needs to collect some additional sand. Let's go check out White Ace's place and see what he's doing. He has made kind of a... Oh, look. White Ace has a quarry. Man, he's only like six blocks down and he's already hit a huge pocket of lava. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Is he just planning on leaving this stuff here? What's the deal? Oh, I think I know what it is. He's probably waiting for when he gets uh, diamond so he can come down here with his enchanted pick and get more out of them. That would make sense. So, here is White Ace's place. I should take the question mark out of there because it actually is his. Nice little farm right up front. That's cool. Let's see basic farm. Very nice. We have still yet to find pumpkins. Somebody answer this question for me, because I don't know if this is true or not. We have found mob dungeons, you know, the standard square dungeon with the mossy cobble and the spawner in the middle. Uh, is that included? Like, if you turn off build structures, do those also get turned off? Because for the life of us, we have not found a village and we don't think we've found a uh, abandoned mine shaft, and we're starting to get a little worried about that. We think structures might actually be off. Well, that's interesting. Where, he doesn't have any bookshelves. That's kind of useless. Maybe he's going to line this with bookshelves. That might work. That way you could just go like, blink, and you could still walk on top. That's a possibility. Anyway... I really like what he's doing with this place. 
future hallway to the rest of my base. Holy cow. Ha ha ha. He says that as he sees cows. That's funny. Keeping your cows indoors, that's smart. So, I, I read one of the comments on one of the last videos, which was like, Hey man, y'all got a Mumble server? Y'all should have everybody explain stuff when you're at their house on the Mumble server. And I totally agree with that. I think that would be an excellent idea, but I forgot to turn it on uh, and test it. So, uh, I decided I wasn't going to do it this time because I didn't have a whole lot of time to record. Um, but I'll, I'll test it on and off for next time. And then next video... I'll have people in on the mobile server, like, explaining their house and stuff like that. This is the other new guy's place. Draco Nemesis, I believe. Yes, Draco Nemesis. Oh, I thought I saw a little thing right there. Let's turn off some more of these waypoints real quick. Uh, Puff. White Ace Chris Draco. Okay. This room is not square, that's true. This one isn't square either. It's a tree farm of nowhere near worth the effort. Ah, <laughs> I get it. Took him forever probably to get that stuff to work correctly. Okay. What's going on down? Oh, this is his. This room is square. That is true, sir. And this room is a rectangle. Ah, nice. Water-based entrance. And I think that's about it for his place. It's rather plain. I haven't seen him on a lot recently. Um, but, I mean, he is on periodically. Also, we've had some, some problems with people, like, disagreeing with each other. So we decided to uh, build a place where we could vent some of our anger on each other. So we're working on a spleef arena. Uh, I don't know how big that inner circle is going to be, if that's actually the floor, or if we're going to make that a little bigger, or what. Uh, but the the outer ring here is going to be like the... Uh, um, it's where the crowd sits and watches. Like, we need that many seats, but still. Uh, also... Let's uh, head off this way. That's basically it over here, I think. So, turn spleef off. Alright, so I think I completely skipped uh, the back half of my house. So I'm going to head over there real quick. And then we're going to go look at Kippa's area. And I have it labeled as Kippa's area, and I've most recently found out that Kippa's had very little to do with it. ha <laughs> So I'm going to go over there and do some corrections, and then that's that's probably the area with the most to talk about. Uh, so let's head over to Nick's place and the back half of my house, and we'll touch on that real quick. If I can remember where I live. Ah, this looks like it. So, over here... All right. Now. This. Ah, he's added stairs. Nice. How far down does this go now? Oh, wow, I really like this. That looks cool, how it kind of wraps around a little bit. That's nice. I'm sure he'll add on to that. Dang, that is close. Dude, where are you going? Oops, a little bit of lag there. Oh, I got turned around. Ha! Huh. That's funny. It's almost like a loading screen in Half-Life. Interesting. Anyway. So how far down does this go? Because... It's still dropping here. I have not seen this in the slightest. Oh! Oh, 
hello. Well, that's interesting. So anyway, uh, I've been helping Nick a little bit in the quarry recently. And there he is down there working on it right now. Hi, Nick. See if he looks up here. He's not going to look. Nope, he's not. Look up, Nick! Ah! Forget it. <laughs> yeah, there goes your screen time, Nick. Good job. <laughs> That's awesome. So, since I've been helping him with the quarry a little bit, I've also built a a second tower, almost exactly like my first one, except this time it's almost completely encased in glass. Just because it's stuck out a lot. It's a little wider, too. Or longer, however, depending on how you're looking at it. Yeah, <laughs> gross. That's basically all it is. Nothing really exciting. So let's head off and check out Kippa's place. Wow, that certainly hasn't spawned in there. Gross. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, uh, we had somebody leave the server. Uh, I don't want to immediately replace him because I think we're going to lose somebody else here really quick. So uh, John Pinson decided that he was uh, going to go ahead and head off. Uh, so he tore down his house and... All that stuff gave gave his stuff away, at least his important stuff. Um, so we've got one spot available, and like I said, once another, once I find out if a second spot is going to open or not, I'll reopen the application process to get back into the server again. Uh, but once again, keep in mind that uh, that I'm going to get like two or three hundred applicants. So for two spots. That's less than a 1% chance to get in, so please bear with me. I'm sorry if you don't get in, but uh, I know the majority of y'all are really cool about stuff like that, but I had a couple of troublemakers, so I want to mention it again. So, as you could probably tell, this looks freaking awesome. Uh, this has been almost completely constructed by Tricky O'Toole, who is uh, on the server right now. So this is amazing. I want to officially go on record and say I want to re retract all the negative things I said about his wall and how it smelled like feet. And uh, I wanted to pour water on it so I could watch it rust. Um, nobody closes doors around here. Oh my god. My OCD is firing up. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, his his additions to the wall here are amazing. Really loving it. And then over here, he's got these little things. God, he's done a lot of work on this. I was here last night, and it was not anywhere near this complete. It was like one-third this. So he's put a lot of work on it in the last eight to ten hours. What have we got over here? Holy crap. Hi. So that's tricky. Hey, he waved. Or he didn't wave, he said hello. So anyway, let's go see what's going on up in here. Little jumping off point, I guess. Oh, H hello. This is trouble. Might be a little too dark in here, Tricky. Spiders are spawning. It sounds like there's stuff underneath me, I think. Hmm. And a way to get out on the inside of the wall. That's nice. So there's apparently five of these entrances 
I mean, this is obviously a corner pillar. Oh, man, that's going to look sick. So he scattered them around the outer perimeter of the wall, so it's much easier to get through the wall, which is nice, because that was my major complaint. Uh, plus, it just looks freaking amazing. So that's awesome. Uh, he's also corrected me and said that this right here was built by Kippa, and pretty much everything else that looks awesome was built by him. So, like, this was built by him. The This was all built by him. The house over there is built by him. Kippa probably did this. Oh, wait, hold on. This isn't even his place. Never last. Frisky Hex. Get Guild Wars 2. <laughs> uh, they have been trying to get me to buy that game, but I just don't have the time to put into another MMO. So, they've also built this epic farm, and I have a feeling that they're going to spread it out over here to the edge. I'm not 100% sure about that, because I haven't exactly talked to them about it. But, uh, I mean, it would make sense, right? Either that or they're going to uh, uh, section that off for, like, um, pumpkins or melons or something. Holy cow, I've never actually seen this from the outside. And that roof looks awesome. Uh, ignore that whirlpool there. I, I don't know who did that. That's... That's, uh, completely offensive. Uh, anyway. Oh, hello. Hey, Tricky, you gotta work on lighting, bro. I took those arrows. There were at least two. Man. I still say Tricky's, like, probably one of our best builders on the server, if not the best. So far, at least. Um, also, over here, y'all will remember Yarun's place. Uh, he's still here. He's just had a lot of uh, personal business he has to take care of, so that's kind of been slowing him down. He hasn't been on the server a lot recently. He pokes in every once in a while and, and does a couple of things, but not really much has changed over here. His house uh, has had a few alterations. The sand making machine is still off limits because it has crashed the server again. Uh, I think we're just going to make it permanently off limits and just like a uh, a visual thing like, ooh, look, a sand maker. Pretty. The end. Um, basically, I think he just added the glass. Also, I don't think much has been done on the mob grinding area. Primarily because this was his baby. Uh, they've added a little bit. Still not finished. And, ah. NappyFS asked for a connector to the bridge, so I added him one. Again, I think the designing of where the bridge would land actually uh, took longer than building the bridge. So now he's going to figure out a way to make a quick connect from here to there. So he can actually get at it faster. And I don't know if he's worked on his sand temple recently. <laughs> yeah, he's still collecting sand for sandstone for the floor. God, they're like all up on me for getting Guild Wars 2. Not gonna happen, guys. Sorry. Uh, and other than that, we've got updates for Red Beef. Uh, also, nothing's really gone on down in the desert over there. I haven't started the quarry over there yet. Uh, I did... Um, what did I do? Oh, I went out there and I put an ender chest out there so we can quickly fill up the ender chest, fill up our own inventory and get like double the sand per trip. Uh, and I also put in a nether portal over there, which conveniently, because of its distance, actually goes to a different place in the, in the nether. But we haven't yet connected... Uh, the two nether portals within the nether. So we'll do that eventually. Red beef has been very busy. Uh, you wouldn't think so by looking at it from here because that's the same, that's the same, and that's the same. But uh, apparently I was completely incorrect in saying that this was a quarry because it's not. He's building a roller coaster. So I don't think he is anywhere really near complete. 
uh, but he's dug out the majority of it. By the way, both of these routes are identical. They meet up a couple of times underneath, as you will see here in a second. Yeah, there's the other one. Kind of like in the beginning of Portal 2 when you can see each other through the walls. Uh, and it is nearly complete. Uh, he was a little upset with himself because he didn't think he would get anywhere near, um, I guess this far. He wanted to finish it, obviously, before the video came out. But I was like, uh, it doesn't really matter to me if you're done or not. I'm pretty sure people are going to get the idea. So I'm not exactly sure how he's going to handle redstone in here, but I'm sure it's going to work. Because uh, I think he said he's done this before. So, And then this climbs up, I think, like 100 blocks total. And then takes a dive. And I'm pretty sure it dives another 100 blocks. That sounds about right. This is not, just for clarification, this is not an abandoned mine shaft. I had to ask him. Because it didn't have that much wood earlier. Yep, and this is where it stops right now. But uh, I don't think we're that far from my place at this point. I don't know. We're 250 away from his little marker. Oh, yeah. He's got a ways to go still, unfortunately. And he's that's the another problem is he's got to go around the wall. Because uh, going underneath the wall, he doesn't want to break into anything that uh, Kippa or Tricky have built. So I can understand that. Uh, but I get the feeling that this thing is going to be pretty freaking awesome. It'd be nice if he, like, cuts into a design right there or something. Oh, I think he is. Duh. I think he's just going to cut it like that. So basically, that's about it. Uh, once again, if I have missed anybody, I'm sorry. Uh, but you didn't let me know when I was on the server last time with you guys. Add a castle in the middle. Um, so yeah, if, if I've missed anything, let me know when I'm on the server again. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So, thanks for watching, everybody.